It's an amazing thing, ladies and gentlemen, when you talk about nationalities, people say uh, anybody gets offended. I say when you tell the truth, you never offend nobody, particularly if you do it with dignity. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. Do you realize that the Jewish people consume more Italian food than any nationality on the face of this earth? This is the truth. This is the truth. And the Jewish people consume more Chinese food than any nationality on the face of this earth. If they stop eating, they close down two countries, they close down. And how close are nationalities? The Jewish people are Italian people like a vice, like this. Mont Street, Italian neighborhood. Delancey Street, Jewish neighborhood. We can end the war tomorrow, we attack Chinatown. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but a lot of Jewish people have been asking me why, when they go to an Italian restaurant, do they get the business? If there are any Jewish people in this audience, I'm going to explain why. You don't know how to order Italian food. Because Italian people bring in from Rome, Italy, special waiters to annoy you. <laughs> I'll give you an example. They walk and they say, can we have an anti-pasto? An Italian waiter wants to be dominated. You got to say, we want an the but then jump. <laughs> then hit him with the navel. He'll kiss you, he'll hug you, I'm telling you that now. <laughs> then they goof up, they say, can we have a dish of lasagna? <laughs> Let them know we want a lasagna. <laughs> In the face, they'll love you, I'm telling you that now. <laughs> a lot of people get tongue-tied when they order the next dish, they say, can we have some money? Curry, 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 curry. <laughs> and we have a pastry that's known all over the world. It's called a cannoli with cream inside. Here's where they make the mistake. They say, can we have a few cannolis? <laughs> Do you know what cannoli means in Italian? Up your boogie, that's what it means. <laughs> can you imagine the guy say, we want a six up your boogies, please? <laughs> My real name is Pasquale Caputo. As you know, uh, Italian fathers name their first son after their father, which is my grandfather. So that's why I got Pasquale Caputo as the name. And I name my kid after my father, Fortuna Bonavonti. My girl's name is Generosity Papa. But a good friend of mine beat the whole system. He named the kid after the priest. He called the kid father. <laughs> a lot of people say to me, Paddy, what do you mean when you say genuine Italian mother? What do you mean? I speak about a French mother, Jewish mother. I speak about the word mom. Because all over the world, that word is understood, mamma, mamma, and mamma spelled backwards is our mamma. <laughs> now, mamma has certain habits, ain't you? I go to see my mother. I knock on the door, she opens the door. She has a meatball on a fork. <laughs> a meatball on a fork. And I'm 37 years old. I have yet to speak to my mother. Strange, eh? But we understand each other. I say, Mama, how you feeling? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, you're kidding. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then she lights a candle under the statue. We got 45 statues in my house. How would you like 90 eyes looking at you every time you got to sit down and eat?
Hey. One time I come home two o'clock in the morning and one of the candles was a lit. I go to light, it was my mother standing there with a bad show. She had to go to the bathroom. Right Another time she had St. Anthony's statue upside down. I says, Mama, why is St. Anthony upside down? He don't answer my novena, he stays that way. Mama, the golden word. Every Sunday, all over the world, all the time you say the same thing. Put the water on! Mama, the golden word. My mother till today says, when you go outside, watch out, be gone, watch out, watch out. So I got a piece of pepper in my pocket. Whenever anybody says, hey, you look good, I go, ha, 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 ha. I bring more suits that way. <laughs> she says, put garlic around your neck. It keeps away the evil spirits. I ain't got no friends. What spirits? Hey. And let's be honest. The kids today, they go to school. They want $8 for lunch, $10 for lunch, $30 for lunch. My mother gave me artichoke sandwiches, my mother gave me. I'd sit in the schoolyard. They said, look at the kid, he's eating flowers. Look at the kid, he's eating flowers. Yeah. I'd get peppers and eggs, spinach and eggs. My mother made sure the oil dripped out of the bag, then she followed the oil to make sure I went to school. <laughs> Mama can do no wrong. My mother got one gift, one gift when she got married. One gift. The wooden spoon. Her mother gave it to her and says, you make the sauce, and your kids, you break their legs if they get out of all. <clears throat> and everybody makes the sauce different. Everybody, my mother, this is the truth. Every Sunday, she puts Kalo Booty record on. And Kalo sings, Did you think And the sauce goes, blah, 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 blah. And it tastes so nice. <laughs> Mama. She stays home. She don't bother nobody. That house is spotless. Twenty years ago, it was had a tragedy in my house. There was a mouse. We couldn't catch the mouse. <laughs> I went to my mother. Said, "Mama, I'm afraid." She goes, ee, ee, ee. Three o'clock in the morning, she gets a hot pepper. She puts it in the corner. At Three fifteen, the mouse comes out. All of a sudden he yelled, Mother, did a flip-flop, had a heart attack right out the door. Two minutes. <laughs> Today a kid gets a pimple here, gets a boo-boo here. Call a surgeon, call a specialist. Hey, I broke my leg one time. My mother fixed it with brown soap. My mother fixed that leg. If you don't believe me, I'll show you my brown leg over here. I'll show you right here. Unbelievable. And I have two sisters, ladies and gentlemen. The oldest of the two. They wanted to be an opera singer. Because as you know, Italian people would love to have an opera singer in the house. And they spent a few dollars to try to train her, see. But she's got trouble coughing, let alone singing. See. <laughs> One night they heard her in the bathtub singing Madame Butterfly. Two days later, the Japs attacked Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I 
And my mother would say, you're wasting money, she's going to get married, you're wasting money. And sure, she got married, nice, God bless, got a nice family, you know. My mother says that. So they own her. Next. <laughs> Not the baby sister. She shook us up something terrible. She had my mother this way, shaking like a leaf. She married a Navajo Indian <laughs> from Florida. The guy had hair down here. And he comes into the house. It started to rain in the living room. It started to rain. And my mother's going, She turned the whole 45 statues upside down. She turned the whole 45 statues upside down. 